What's uh, what's life like for you right now? Well, it's a lot of uh, camps with uh, you know working out. Uh, for myself, I am starting an online um, business class, but for some of the other guys, they got some uh, classes they got to go to along with all that stuff. So. Do you remember this time as a freshman? I just saw Mitch and Yudoka. Um, do you looking back? Do you remember kind of what it was like for you that first day? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, it was it was tough. I remember my first day here. I think I had the camp game, and then my first workout here was probably my hardest workout with Hootie. I mean, she she killed us that day. So I, I know it's it's tough, and it's it's a new experience. It's it's fun at the same time. Uh, you you know you get all the the, the new freedom and everything so you know they're, they're just learning how to manage their time and, and uh, enjoy the, the process. I know the, the season really just kind of ended two months ago but this is your last go around is there a sense of urgency for anything that you'd like to to get done your your last? Yeah you know I just want to I want to leave this year knowing that there was nothing more I could have done to um, help prepare our team and help uh, prepare the guys to get ready to go put ourselves in the best position to win. Um, and I feel like, you know, we learned a lot last year and we um, we really had the right mindset going into the postseason, going into each game. And so um, I, I want to make sure that this year, you know, finishes with, with no doubts of what is uh, in, my, in my mind. So. Any other reflections afterwards now that Villanova won the whole thing and you saw him do that? Yeah. You know, it, it, it hurts. Some, some people come up and they're like, oh, you know, that's, you know, you, at least you lost to the champions and stuff. But, you know, when, when your goal is to do what the team, you know, that kind of barely beat you did, um, I, I think it hurts, you know, because, you know, it's, uh, you know, we, we know that we were very close to accomplishing our goals if we uh, changed some things and, and end up winning that game. So, um, but, you know, they're a good team and they, they deserve, you know, everything that they got. Um, but it definitely it, it hurts to see them go on and win it all. Personally, what do you want to improve on? What are you working on? You know, personally, um, just just go out there and, and have a, you know more of an offensive game. And the last couple of years, you know, I've said said that and gone out there and you know there's 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 working on it and there's you know really learning and learning from people who know what they're doing. So this year I'm trying to, this summer, get with uh, Wayne Simeon as much as possible because I know that he's, there's someone who knows how to score on the block, it would be him. So, uh, you know, trying to meet up with him and get some, you know, get some tips from him, um, workout tips, or, you know, advice if he ever, you know, is in the gym with me, um, you know, work on some stuff. But that would be the biggest thing. And on top of that, you know, just uh, improve on, on rebounding and, and defense, you know, you can never, uh, rebound too much so have you graduated I did yeah I just finished my classes uh, last uh, in May so last month and so um, now I'm just focusing on uh, graduate classes how many hours do you have to take uh, in the summertime you only have to take I want to say three or three per session um, and so I'm just doing that for now and then um, the online class doesn't cover all of our uh, hours for next year, so uh, Tyler and I are in it together. So we'll be taking some some class on the side along with that. So. Have you met uh, with the Robinson or the Twins yet to work out? Mm -mm. No, I actually just got here yesterday, and uh, I'm moving rooms, so I was been doing all that, and we're going straight to the camp. So I haven't got a chance to yet, but I'll, I'll get a chance to see them, and hopefully I'll get a chance to work out and play some pickup with them. Did you go home for a while? I did, yeah. I went home for pretty much the whole uh, break that we had. Um, so it was nice to get to see the family and, uh, you know, refresh a little bit, but it also – um, there's such after the way the season ended and stuff, you know, it's it's fun to get back on on the campus and get back to work too. Are you gonna go to any camps like LeBron? Uh, no, not not that I'm uh, planning on right now. So. What advice are you gonna give Mitch and Yudoka in their first week here? Uh, just to take it all in and and uh, you know everything's gonna come at them real fast, but to know that you know it, it's just to enjoy the process and. And uh, these workouts right now, they're going to seem very big and important, each one, and, and they are. But really, you know, they just need to come in and, 
and you know take it slowly nothing nothing's being decided right now by these workouts and stuff so just uh work work on getting better and and you know en enjoy everything did you meet josh jackson when he was on his visit i did yeah what, what were your impressions of him at the time he's a very nice nice kid and uh, you know we actually i got a chance to keep in contact with him through the recruiting process um and so he's he's a you know cool guy and uh, I'm looking forward to getting a chance to see him play in person. I haven't, I haven't done that yet, so um, I, I guess he gets here tomorrow. So it would be nice to have everybody on campus and, and get a pickup game or something going. Do you see any parallels with him and uh, Andrew being the top overall recruit and maybe the attention that he's getting? If so, what advice would you have for him having seen Andrew and how he dealt with it? Uh, you know, Andrew did a great job. Andrew just focused on himself and, and uh, you know, didn't really pay too much attention to what others, you know, were uh, giving him as far as the hype. And so, you know, uh, he could definitely learn from that. But um, the attention, I, I think it's great. It's great for the whole team, great for the program. And, you know, we, you know we'll, we'll feed off of that even more. So we're already going to be getting a ton. But, uh, you know, having him there will, will be fun. And I'm looking forward to uh, playing with him as well. Coming off the season you had last year at events like this and just around around your hometown, do you find more people asking for your autograph? No. Uh, a few more know uh, my name now and stuff, and know, know more about me. Um, but you know that's uh, that's fun. I mean, you come here to be a part of something big, and, and so um, I think this last year I was able to contribute a little bit more to that, and so um, I'm, I'm happy I'm here and doing it at a place like Kansas. Did you need any off-season cleanup surgeries or anything? No, no, I actually feel good. At the end of this year, I probably felt better than I have uh, in a long time. I surprisingly probably could have played another half a season and felt pretty good doing it. So um, I'm definitely happy about that. It's credit to our staff and the Hootie for keeping our bodies in, in you know, good health and shape. So um, happy about that because last year was the exact opposite. So.